I don't play Spirit often, but we had a redeem for the Mother Daughter Ring, which is a very strong add-on which makes the Spirit go 40% faster, with the downside being that we don't see scratch marks in a power. Now we paired that with the Yakuoki Amulet, this makes the Spirit another 15% faster in power, and it makes the Haunting last 70% longer, so she's going to be super fast with a super long duration in her power. Since whenever I normally play Spirit, it'd be with green or yellow add-ons, this was eye-opening. These add-ons are broken. So we load in on Wrecker's Yard. Lethal Pursuer shows us everybody at the start and we decide where to go first. We pick a victim, go into the first phase, trying to head her off from the direction it looked like they were headed. Listen closely and bam. That was insane. First phase straight into a hit. I can't even do that on Nurse. That's got to absolutely suck as a survivor. How intimidating would it be to just be landed straight on by a spirit? Psychological warfare this is at its finest. Now this chase I should have phased earlier and landed straight on Meg before she got the jungle gym, but here we are. She's going for that pallet and she's dropping it. Oh bro, I was on her. tried. Damn, they got one done already? <gasps> Holy shit! Slut for true crime? That could be half the chat you're talking about here. What's up, Hagvara? How are you? Welcome back. Thanks so much. Ah, no, I didn't look on barbecue. I know someone was by the... There they are. Is that down? Oh, she's got dead art then. Or she doesn't have dead art then. Crazy. Anyone throwing that? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I knew she was too far away. I was like, nah, nah, I got this. I got this. Are you alive? I'm just waiting for a bloody dead out, are you? Dude, look at the distance you get out of these add-ons. That's almost all the way across the map and landing on someone. The standing still mind game! Standing still should never work, seeing as you can hear the directional phasing, but Kate should have just thrown the pallet. No one on barbecue, but we head towards the massive explosion notification on screen. I'm gonna break this. Break this, thank you. I saw scratch marks over there. Got one dead already, I think. Who's not been hooked? I think the other Meg's not been hooked, right? Bro. Okay. Fair enough.
These add-ons are fucking insane, dude. The amount of time I can spend in phase at speed, the distance you can get is fucking crazy. You seeing this? You seeing how long I spend in phase at that speed? Down basement. This, this, this add-on setup and spirit is insanely strong. Tartina, is this what you wanted? Is this what you're after? She's so scared they went to the corner of the map to hide. This is what you wanted, yeah? Oh, I'm glad you're in, you're entertained. <laughs> the fucking... Oh, I just... Oh, she had, um... What? How did she get up? Hi. How did Meg get up? Oh, did she... Have Unbreakable? She must have unbreakable, but she was broken because of my forced penance. I was wondering why she was broken for a minute. She bro she had unbreakable, but she was broken because of the forced penance. It just confused me for a second. These add-ons on Spirit are fucking insane, dude. Holy shit. I feel like it wasn't even fair. I mean, it clearly wasn't even fair, but I've, I, you know when you genuinely feel like you just took advantage of some people? That is some strong fucking add-ons. Dude, even with hyperfocus, two hyperfocus stakeout gamers, and approve thyself, and they still couldn't crank out any gins. That was unfair, but funny. I changed my mind a little bit since then. It might have seemed unfair, but we had two guys with hyperfocus, stakeout, and fast track on, and approve thyself gamer. The speed you can crank gens out with those perks means I think this game was absolutely fair. They bought gen rush perks. I bought strong add-ons. The add-ons make the killer better. Bro, that's, that's, that's what add-ons are supposed to do. Just want to quickly point out that this was one of the hyper-focused gamers, and she didn't even play well. The add-ons had nothing to do with her dying. I mean, apart from the fact that I destroyed the rest of the team with them. Let's see, she got mind-gamed at Shaq by a 110 killer. Okay, so we used the power to catch up with her a little bit. Not really, though. She made the pallet. And then she greeted the pallet instead of then. throwing it. So she went down. Nice first chase near. Well done. And let's see what happens second chase. She goes Shaq. Gets mind gamed at Shaq again. Well done near. This is a hit. Then <laughs> Spirit mind games again at Shaq. Hmm. That's nothing to do with the add-ons. What you should do is throw the pallet firstly. And secondly, listen for where the Spirit's coming from and throw the pallet. I sense a little copium. Like add-ons are supposed to make the killer better. That's why they exist. It was in the game, then the relatives tended to be in loot. Yeah, I know, but I think he was trying to say like, ah, oh, that'd be, you'd be no good as a spirit without the add-ons, right? I mean, sure. But add-ons are supposed to make the killer better, right? That's why, that's why they have them. To, to give you little variants in the game. Spirit's garbage without add-ons. She's harder. She's a lot harder without add-ons.